Well, let's talk a little bit about your spell in Portugal. Carlos Queiroz was your coach, and recently we, the Egyptians, had the chance to observe him. How was working with Queiroz, and how you evaluate his spell with the Faroes? Well, I think uh, it's a very unfortunate uh, thing that uh, you know Egypt. Uh, they were there. They lost the final, and then they miss out uh, to the, the uh, to the work of uh, true penalties. Uh, but you know, when it is penalties, there is nothing a, a coach or a player can do on that issue. Uh, but I think also, with all due respect to to the Egyptian people and uh, their decisions, which has to be respected. I think also they would have, you know, they could have had a little bit of patience because uh, uh, Kerosh, I think he has started to, you know, to bring out that uh, chemistry in the Egyptian player. When you look at how they played in the Afcon, I was in Cameroon, I was in Garua you know, with CAF on technical uh, study group matter uh, against Nigeria. Okay, they lost. Uh, to Nigeria, but uh, as the tournament progresses, they were able to, you know, build a solid team that is very, very difficult to beat uh, in terms of their ability to defend as a team. Uh, I think they have that this team, uh, but of course, you know, the decisions sometimes uh, in Africa, sometimes we make decisions by our emotion, uh, basically, or sometimes when things didn't work the way we expected, we decide, okay, the coach needs to go, everybody needs to go. No, but football is a, is a plan, and uh, it's not because Kerosh was my coach. Uh, he was a very good coach. Uh, I learned a lot of things under him when I was playing in sporting, under him. Uh, even from far distance, I, learned, I still learned a lot of things uh, in the preparation, in the approach, uh, from tactical point of view, individually, collectively. So he's a coach with a lot of experience. And uh, I, I, I will always say I'm privileged to have played under him in Sporting Lisbon. And I hope, you know, we find somewhere uh, better and where he can continue to inspire people and, uh, you know, uh, bring confidence to the players. You played against Maradona, but also you played uh, with Ronaldo Fenona. Uh, well, we knew. I played against him at the Olympic. Uh, so we, we, we had a little bit of uh, what he's capable of doing. And then playing with him in Barcelona is, uh, is something that's, uh, uh, you know, he is one of the best strikers that, uh, uh, that combines a lot of things in terms of technique, speed, agility, uh, finishing. So he's a complete striker. He's a very, very complete striker. And that is why he's being called phenomenal. <laughs>